Well, good morning. Today we're going to take you on a little tour of the outdoor seed starting area. Y'all followed along with us on that project and it's been a long one, hasn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, we got it ready to go. I thought you might want to see the whole thing together and how it actually functions. And, uh, you know, when we get back from the break, we'll jump into uh, Kubota. And we'll take a kind of a scenic tour through some of the trails and come out over there by the garden complex. And we'll go in there and take a look at how this little job came together. So we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> This video is a tour of our outdoor seed starting area number five of five.
Well, here we are. We're at the uh, outdoor seed starting area, and this area is going to have a lot of action, and we're looking forward to getting started out here. But I uh, just wanted to give you a, a, an overall uh, look at the, the at the project and explain to you how this one how this one works. Um, the area is encompassed here. I put down with. Um, uh, some chopped straw on the, on the deck here on the floor just to keep the uh, grass from encroaching back in here and keep that down. It keeps the area nice and clean and easy to work on. So that was one uh, thing I wanted to add in here to keep it up and running. I did add my water source in. Um, we've got, uh, got it all working. I got the pump hooked up to it and with the watering wands See, I can use this wand to uh, water all of our um, seed, tr seed trays and, uh, and uh, seed starting rack and also on the hardening table. Come on up and let's take a look at how this thing works. Well, the first component of our outdoor seed starting area is my uh, storage box that I have out here. It's um, pretty weatherproof. I, I haven't had any problems with any moisture getting inside of this box at all. And um, the inside of it contains all of my um, tools and fertilizers and anything that I need to work as, as far as getting the, my seed starting um, operation working. And if I need any, anything for that, I can just walk, simply walk over here and get it right out of here. Next stop is after I got any tools that I need is I come right over here to the planting table. And uh, this is uh, a really a nice size planting table, a lot of square foot. It's um, 10 feet long. So we can take our trays. We have a storage area underneath to store all of our empty trays. And I can take my, uh, my starter cups with my 10, 20 uh, trays and I can work right here to get them all started. This is where we do all of our planting and our um, putting the seeds. But anyway, this is the uh, seed starting table. This is how we get our seeds started into trays. I can get a water source right here, convenient to it. So we can, uh, you know, water anything we need to water right here. If I need to water those trays, I can. And once I have the tray all set, the next stop is the outdoor seed starting racks, which are right here behind me. So let's check those out. Both of our um, outdoor seed starting racks have this roll up and down 40% shade cloth because you see how I got that direct morning sun coming straight into this rack perfectly. Um, there in the early morning, I'll take that full sun right in. Let me grab the tray and put it in here. And we can get several of these trays in here. But plenty of room, put them right in there, and they're exposed to that direct morning sun. As the morning wears on and these seedlings are just getting started, because remember I use these seed racks for my fall vegetables. I start my fall vegetables outside. So the temperatures are still hot during the day. So once it gets up about 9.30 or 10 o'clock in the morning, it's got plenty of sun on these seedlings. And I'll take this right here. And I close it back down to put that 40% shade on the seedlings. The underside of the uh, overhead of the seed rack has a 40% shade cloth attached inside it as well. And I've got this corrugated clear plastic on the top to keep the rain off. That way I'm not flooding my um, seed trays with heavy rains. I want to control my water on this by hand using my watering wand and put exactly the amount of water on there that I want and no more than that. But that's how the seed, seed racks start. Okay, the next step is whenever our little seedlings, you know, they get up to where they're uh, transplanting size and they're, they've done all they need to do to get started and they're, they're ready to go into either the containers or out into the earth uh, garden, earth bed, or over to the trellises or the raised beds. Wherever I'm going to plant it, I need to harden it off first. So we take it out of here in the mornings and we'll walk right over here to the hardening table 
and let it get some morning sun. Well, this is the hardening table. Plenty of room. I can get them two, two deep and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can get them seven long, two deep, so I can put 14 of these 1020 trays on here at a time. Um, plenty of square foot area on the surface. Underneath, I have plenty of storage for other items that I typically need somewhere to stick, you know, so I got uh, more trays and more cups and things like that that I use um, that I can store underneath. It's hardware cloth down on the bottom on three sides to keep the wind from blowing things out. And um, that seems to work just fine. I don't need to put any kind of doors or anything on the front. So you probably remember us building every one of these components on, you know, parts, uh, the first parts of, these, of this series. And I just thought you might want to see the whole thing together. But I think what you really want to see is when we start actually using it. So we are definitely looking forward to that. So if you like our videos and you enjoyed watching this little journey with us, there's plenty more to come, so please subscribe and be a part of our homestead family. We're here with uh, me and Nancy and Bing Bing. So until we see you next time, we come out here and start putting this, uh, this uh, outdoor seed starting area to use. Always remember, by us hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like our videos, we ask you to partner with us in our mission by sharing our videos from YouTube and posts from Facebook to all social medias. It really inspires and encourages us. Some great places to share is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Please like if you like this video, subscribe, click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.